Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today for Dry It Out Tuesday, I have some more products from Spellbinders that I want to share with you. Two of them are die sets, um, and then I have the stamp set that kind of coordinates with the die sets. Um, but we're going to be using the Let's Dance die set. There's 12 cutting dice in here. And, <laughs> and then this little guy's excited about it too. And then I have the I Dance um, die set. Now, the neat thing about this is, is there's a kinetic movement that goes, that you can create even to go with, um, the I Dance and the Let's Dance. Now, this little girl, you can see here, you have the legs and the skirt. You have that circle in here that will die cut out of her legs. That way she can actually dance. Um, I've created a video using a um, similar one, and I'll link it at the end. But I thought that was super neat. And I like that you she could be holding several things because her little arms, which are here, she has long arms and, and um, hands. But... So you can switch them out. And, the, and I'm, here we go, one of my, my flowers fell off. But she could be holding the flower. And then there's leaves to go with it. Several different types, which is nice. There's even a um, flower bud. But she can also be holding uh, so many different things. She can be holding the, um, the little glue bottle. So this would be great for crafters. I think the flower would be great for universal friendship even a get well um but there's also a coffee cup so i thought it'd be fun to create a card with this today although we're not going to do a kinetic motion card we're going to do something a little bit different now there's also the let's dance this one is nice this is kind of like a girly one and i would call this a boy one um because this one has a little little beer mug and then there's some froth here and a little froth here. And then you also get the cute um, award banner. There's a little label that you could put on the bear mug. And then, of course, you have the same kinetic um, bottom. So he can be holding the award you can see here. And then if you shake your card, he would move back and forth. Uh, but he could also be holding a beer mug, which I think is super fun. But I thought the a beer mug... I'm partial to root beer, <laughs> not beer, um, but I thought this was so cute and I thought it'd be fun to create a card using the beer mug. So we're going to create a card with the We Dance, Let's Dance, but there's Let's Dance, I Dance, and then the sentiment to go, the stamp set that goes with it um, is the We All Dance. <laughs> so you have the Let's Dance, the I Dance, and the We All Dance. And I'm excited to share it with you. Now, again, this sentiment stamp set is meant to coordinate with these. Because you have best mom, best dad stuck on you. Thanks a latte. Happy birthday. I'll drink to that. Father's Day. Nothing a little glue can't fix that's perfect for crafty friends. So, um, and a lot of these are sized to go with the elements of the dies. So that's what we're going to use today. We're going to start by doing a little bit of die cutting. Actually, let's die cut all of it out at once because my cards are basically going to be the same, just with different elements. Okay, so we have some black card stock, white card stock, and this is like a soft yellow. We're going to use that as well. We're going to start off by die cutting out the mug here with white card stock. I'm going to die cut it out twice. Okay, once I have my mug die cut out, you can see here there is some detail on there, which makes it really nice. I'm going to go ahead and take the inside layer, and I'm going to die cut this out on one of my mugs. We'll just tape it down. This is actually going to be a template for us. And then I'm also going to die cut it out with the soft yellow cardstock. So I'm going to, I don't think we need the black for this one. So I'm going to put this aside. Okay, I went ahead and die cut it out this piece. Now this would look nice if you layered it 
on your background and then you have the the inside pieces that you could glue to add a little bit of ale to your mug <laughs> like that looks really cute but um i'm going to use again this as a template so i'm going to use my tape runner i'm going to add a little adhesive and then i'm going to tack this down to my solid mug me zoom in so you can see a little bit better okay and then after we have this adhered lightly we're going to be able to remove it we are going to take our our i gotta pop this out real fast for the most part all these little circles popped out when i was die cutting <laughs> but you're going to go ahead and insert this and this is where your template is nice and handy. We have one more. And again, you could use the mug just like this. I think that looks great. But I want to have a little bit of gradient to my, my beer. So I'm going to ink up a little bit of fossilized amber, my Distress Oxide ink, and then I'm going to go over the bottom right over my template and then I can remove my template. Those pieces will stay in there and then we have a little bit of a gradient in our mug. I'm going to do it one more time and I'm going to create a full background of these. So um, I'm just showing you how I do a couple of them. I want to add our insert pieces. And you can use glue if you wanted to. I'm using my tape runner because it's just easier. Okay, we got our ale added. I want to go ahead and add a little bit of color to the bottom and you can keep this in the package if you wanted if you wanted to make it root beer or orange soda you could do any kind of soda you'd want really you can make it cola but um we have a little bit of gradient on our our mug here okay once our mugs are done we're gonna go ahead and zoom back out a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and take there's two little frothy pieces and then you also have the, the banner, the award banner. We're going to die cut out the, the frothy pieces with white cardstock. And then I'm going to use some purple for our banner. So I'm going to die cut out a dark purple with our award outside edge. This is the, the fishtail that goes in the bottom. I'm going to die cut it out once with the darker purple and then once with the lighter purple. And then there's an insert, a circle insert. I'm going to die cut that out with the lighter purple. So I'm going to run these through my die cutting machine. Okay, I have my little frothy pieces, which I just think are amazing. We're going to start by putting our little bubbles on our our alcohol here. We are going to use a foam square. And I think I need to flip that around. Do that to the larger ones. Then this is going to go directly over our mug, which I just think looks so fun. Doesn't that look so fun? And then I'll take a smaller foam square. We'll add it behind our smaller bubbles. And then we can add our bubbles. It doesn't really matter which way to put them, but this just adds a lot of, um, just a lot of layered details. Is that not the cutest thing in the world? Love that. So I'm going to make about seven or eight of these and then I'm going to go ahead and work on my award. You can see there is embossed detail 
which makes it really nice. I'm going to layer the darker purple over the lighter purple. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach them to the back of my, my banner. And then for the circle here, we're going to stamp our sentiment. I'm going to stamp Best Dad. I'm going to go ahead and use my darker ink. We'll stamp Best Dad. It'll fit in there beautifully. And then I can use the foam square. Add that to the center. And then we can add our sentiment right there. Then our banner is done. And that will be for our, our little beer pieces. Now I'm going to continue. And then we are going to create um, the, the elements we need for this card. First we're going to take the coffee cup, the cozy. We'll take the leaves, and then I'm going to take a large flower, the medium and the small, and then there is a cup, um, a cup lid. We're going to take these and die cut out the cup with white cardstock, and then I'm going to also take the leaves, and then I'm going to use some rainforest cardstock. We'll die cut both of the leaves out. This is where that black cardstock will come in handy. I'll die cut out the coffee lid with the black and then the flowers I'm gonna go the darkest with the largest. This is Lagoon and then I have the medium which will be teal topaz and then I have the lightest is, of course, Waterfall. And then for the Cup Cozy, I thought we'd bring in some corrugated cardstock. I have, I don't know if you can tell, there's some corrugated cardstock there. And I'm going to die cut that Cup Cozy out, give it a little bit of realism. Um, I'm going to die cut these, and then when I'm done, I'll be right back. I'll put these up here real fast. Okay, I have everything die cut. I'm going to zoom back in a little bit. And then we can build our coffee cup. To do that, we'll do that first. And then we'll do the flower second. I'm going to bring in my glue. And there is some embossed detail. So you know where to put the your to-go cup lid. And then once we have our lids adhered, I went ahead and put some foam squares already on my cup cozy part. I'm just going to remove the release paper and then we can add our corrugated cardstock and then we have the cutest little coffee mugs. Makes me want to go take a trip into town. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Got a little dimension there. To create the flower it's going to be very easy. I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive to our middle flower and then our lightest I did add um, a foam square behind so we have a little bit of dimension there and I'm just going to add that to the center of my flower and there's a lot of detail in that little flower We have our leaves and a little bit of glue. And I like that there's two, two different sizes of leaves. And I'm going to add those behind our flower. And then our flower is good. Okay, I'm going to go, since we have our flowers done, I'm going to make a whole bunch of beer and I'm gonna make a whole bunch of coffee and then I will be right back okay I went to town and went aren't they the cutest I just think these are so cute look all the dimension that's there so let's start by creating some backgrounds and again both of our cards are gonna be about the same so I'm gonna take two pieces of white cardstock and we're gonna do a little bit of embossing 
we're going to make them different. We're going to by using different embossing folders. For the beer one, which is created with the Let's Dance, I'm going to die cut it out with the plaid embossing folder. And then with the Florets embossing folder, I'm going to use for the coffee cups, which is the I Dance die set. So I'm going to emboss these panels. And these panels, by the way, are four, uh, four inches by five and a quarter. So I'll run we're going to take this machine. and I'm going to go ahead and adhere my little mugs all over. Now, if I do have some overhanging, I'm making sure that it's not the frothy part of this, this because I think that'll be a little bit more difficult to, to cut the excess off. And I'm just going to fill in my background. There is going to be a section over here where I'm going to add a strip. So I want to make sure that I don't have any of those frothy bubbles over there either. Once I had my background filled in, I did the same thing with the coffee cups. Um, but I did go ahead and trim down a half inch strip of the blue card. Um, this is actually purple, purpley blue. The color of it is Royal Amethyst. I know it's purple and for a boy card, but I think it's just regal and that goes really good with the mugs. So I popped that up and put that on the upper portion of my panel. What we're gonna do is flip this around Add a little more adhesive. I already added some. And then this is going to go on our card base. And then we're going to go ahead and add our best dad. Add a strip of adhesive and place that down that strip here. Okay, now I have, we're going to finish off our coffee card. So we'll take our card base. And for the coffee card, I went ahead and trimmed down um, a half inch strip of the waterfall card stock and put it down towards the bottom. Um, and then this I did pop up with photo adhesive and I need to stamp my sentiment. So in the stamp set, there is Hello friend. I think that's going to be perfect for this card. There is a thanks a latte, but I think I'm going to put hello friend. You could even put happy Mother's Day or happy Father's Day. That's really nice. I'm going to use again my black ink for this sentiment. And since I put a pretty good size strip of the foam adhesive, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to stamp beautifully. And it did. We stamped really good. Okay, we are going to go ahead and add our flower. And I'm not going to add any adhesive um, or any foam adhesive, I should say, behind it because we have a lot of dimension in our background. And I think that looks lovely. We're going to flip this around. We're going to use our tape runner and adhere this to our card base. But this is, I guess I'm showing you a different way on how to use um, these two die sets. But this is really fun how they can move and dance. I think that's super neat. But this is an alternative way for those of you who um, want to stretch your dies. But I'm going to do a few. Um, one last thing, I'm going to add a little bit of ivory. No, you know what? I don't want ivory seashell. Let's, I'm going to bring in my Nouveau Crystal Drops, my Nouveau Glitter Drops. This is White Blizzard. I used to use these all the time and I forgot how much I love them. I'm going to add a dot in the center of my flower on my coffee card and then on for my beer card I'm just going to add a few bubbles 
on that white area. Just add a few, little bit of sparkle here and there. And then that will finish off my project today, guys, using a few items from Spellbinders Happy Dance Collection. I hope your Tuesday is going fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a fantastic rest of the week, and we will see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.